Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Scott Henson from the Xbox Engineering Team. Scott, thank you for joining me. Hey, great to be here to talk about some of the great features coming out this holiday on Xbox One, as well as the Xbox app on PC and um, mobile devices today. Scott, I want to talk about what gamers can expect from this holiday update. It went to preview in September, and of course we talked about some of these features earlier in the year at E3, but let's remind folks what they can expect. Well, the two big features um, that are really cool are clubs and looking for group, which we'll talk about. We also have a, a host of other features as well, including achievement rarity, group messaging, and a whole lot more. Um, this, this release is really about making it easier for people to connect with one another across all these devices, no matter how they like to game or who they like to game with. All right, Scott, let's talk about features. Let's kick things off with clubs. So clubs on Xbox Live are created by gamers um, and they're managed groups that help you find uh, gamers no matter what kind of community you want to be a member of. Um, we have private clubs, public clubs, and hidden. Um, so no matter what kind of club, we've got something for you. You know, two of my favorite clubs uh, out there are two clubs I follow that you might be unexpected would be the Anime Club, um, which is all, all things anime, and the Awesome Screenshots Club. But there's really clubs for um, every kind of game or every type of way that you want to play, including if you're an achievement hunter, if you like TV shows, movie genres, really everything, anything that interests you, there's something out there for you. So now I created a Major Nelson Club. It's open to everybody. I created that in preview, and it's certainly available right now for everybody. But just to give an example, if I want to play Gears of War and annihilate some of the Swarmer DBs, I can create a club for other Gears lovers, right? Absolutely. Um, and if you want to find a club um, as well, you can go into your game hub for Gears of War or those clubs and find people that like to play uh, Gears of War. Now, I want to point out what can club members do once they're part of a club? So a couple of different things. Um, when you're a member of the club, it's really about contributing to the club, right? Um, so you'll be able to find them on the community tab up at the top, right? So you go into the top of the community tab. Um, and at the very top, you'll, you'll enter clubs there. Um, and then you'll be able to um, go in and chat with people. Um, you'll be able to uh, start games um, and interact with other folks um, that are members of the club. I also want to point out that it's not just on the console. It also, clubs exist in the uh, Xbox app on Windows 10, right? That's right. Um, on Windows 10, as well as on mobile devices, um, you can uh, interact with people there as well, just the way, same way that you can on the console. Now, another great way to connect with people is one of the new features, looking for group. Tell us about that and how that works. I think the easiest way to describe looking for group is that it's really about um, a want ad for gamers for each other. Um, you can post uh, your want ad, if you will, um, and let people know that the game that you want to look for and the type of game. Um, we have a whole bunch of custom tags that allow you to make that you know, specific to the kind of game that you want to play. Um, and we're bringing that functionality uh, to the mobile device as well as PC and console. So the cool thing about that is if I'm on the mobile device, um, I can quickly and easily send that um, while I'm on the go to all of my friends and set up my LFG. You mentioned the tags, but also one of the key parts of the Xbox uh, world is, is achievement. So I can kind of set, hey, I want to look for this achievement and it will go up there and anybody that wants to join me in trying to get that achievement can, uh, can participate, right? Yeah, so similar to clubs where if you want to have a club that's about achievement hunting, you can certainly do LFGs the same way and you can say the specific type of achievement that you want to go uh, find with other people, either in your club or out in Xbox Live in general. Let's give an example of how LFG will work. Yeah, so everything really starts with the Game Hub, and in this case it would be the Game Hub for Gears of War 4. Um, and I'd go into the Game Hub, into the Looking for Group section, and I would post up an LFG um, and invite, uh, let's say, the, the community at large. Let's say we needed three people. So I'd set it up. I'd say we want to play now um, because you and I are ready to play. Um, you would then express your interest, and then I'd wait for two to three other people to express their interest as well. We'd get into a party, and then we'd go off and play Horde mode. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Now, I also want to point out that this will work for Windows 10 games as well. That's right. Um, your favorite PC games will work. You'll be able to set up LFGs for things like League of Legends or Dota or whatever your favorite uh, multiplayer game is on Windows 10. Of course, all of our Play Anywhere titles, Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3. Um, it's a great feature for gamers no matter what platform they want to play on um, and no matter what game they want to play with. Scott, another part of this release is Achievement Rarity. We talked about that again during preview, but let's go into that a little bit further. Yeah, this was a huge uh, fan request on Xbox Feedback. Um, people really wanted to know, you know, how many other people have gotten these achievements. And what Achievement Rarity does, it lets you know really how unique that achievement is amongst the players of a given game. So when you earn an achievement, you'll get a special notification and a diamond icon highlighting it. How, how do you determine if an achievement is actually rare? So it's pretty simple. We, uh, we calculate it based on the number of people who've played the game. Um, and uh, how many people have unlocked the achievement. So it's really how many people have unlocked the achievement over the number of people who played the game. And then we show achievements um, that are rare for 10% or less. 
um, in the user interface. So when you go in, you'll see a little diamond next to uh, the achievement if it's rare. Now, if I look in my achievement list and I see some of my achievements are rare, uh, but they're, they're not rare anymore. What does that mean? Well, over time, you know, of course, more and more people are going to play the game and more and more people are going to unlock it. So this is dynamically updated frequently, so you can always see um, how rare a particular achievement is. Achievement rarity is great, but it's also tied to uh, gamer score. And you've done some work around the gamer score leaderboard. Tell us what's new there. The big thing that's new with the gamer score leaderboard is that you can now look uh, each month and determine how you're comparing against your friends. So you can look at this month and see how you're doing, and of course, last month and see how you did. Um, it keeps the competition going each month. So I can just go a little drop down and kind of go back in time and figure out how I did and where I need to do better. That's right. Pretty cool. Now let's talk about group messaging. This is a feature that's been highly requested. How will it work? So group messaging allows you to send messages to multiple people in the same conversation. You can dynamically add them and you can also change the conversation topic. Um, it works on Xbox One as well as in the Xbox app. And on the console on Xbox One, we've added a predictive dictionary to make typing a lot easier. So as you type, similar to your smartphone, it mm -hmm. will give you suggested words. And with your right thumbstick, you can go select those. And of course, the other thing is, is with the group messaging, you can, you can include another new feature, which is emojis. That's right. And emojis are um, in our virtual keyboard. Um, you just hit the left trigger and get right to them. Um, it allows you in all of our communication, chats, posts, comments, etc., to be able to express yourself the way you want with emojis. The team's worked incredibly hard for this release, um, for these new features, for gamers on Xbox Live. I can't wait to hear what everyone thinks. For more details, hit up Xbox Wire at news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com. Thanks for watching.